Well, hello, my name is John with Johnny Chaps Media, and today I will be showing you how to use the Inkscape program to export SVG files to your eCal software to cut out on your Sizzix Eclipse machine. I know that's a lot of words, but uh, we'll explain it on the computer. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find an image uh, that you want to cut out. Uh, so we'll go to Google, go to images, and uh, since it's close to Christmas, we'll go ahead and do a snowflake. Okay, now when you're looking for images, uh, the Inkscape software, uh, when it creates an SVG, it traces whatever an image you load into it. Uh, so if you load an image like this, it's going to have a harder time tracing out all these areas uh, due to the different color gradients and the blurriness of it. Uh, so when you're looking for custom images that you want to that you want to cut out, uh, you want to look for something like this. This uh, black and white, simple lines. Uh, it would even cut that out, but it, it'd be uh, be a pain in the butt trying to cut uh, you know lift that off the paper. Uh, so something easy like this, one of these. Uh, something like this. Uh, I like this little guy here, so we'll open him up and we will save that. And it doesn't matter where you save it to, uh, just as long as you remember where it's at. So we'll save it here on the desktop. Okay, so we got our image saved. There it is on the desktop. We'll go ahead and open up the Inkscape software. Uh, it'd be an icon that looks like this. It says Inkscape. I already have it open down here. As soon as you open it, open it it'll uh, look like this. Let's go ahead and maximize that. And we will import our image we just created. So here we are in desktop. Snowflake clip. So we'll open that up. And uh, this first screen will pop up here. Just leave it in embed. Hit OK. And let it do its thing here. the larger the image the uh, more time it's going to take okay so here's the image now uh, you don't even need to touch it just leave it just like that don't don't minimize it don't worry about where it's on the page just leave it exactly like that just make sure it's it's clicked so if it was you know wasn't clicked make sure you click it and get that board around it so it knows what it's uh, uh, outlining here just make sure it's clicked and then you're going to go to path up here at the top trace bitman and this dialog will pop up leave everything exactly the same don't worry about anything uh, you can get into more uh, like I said with the images uh, when it's not you know black and white it has more color in it and more gradients you might have to mess with some of these but for simple black and white image you can just leave it just like that and hit OK you'll see an image that pops up right here it's kinda hard to tell it just lets you know it, it highlighted it uh, just hit OK one more time and then close out of that as soon as you close out, uh, you're going to see this image highlighted. If you left click it and drag it, you'll notice you have two images now. This one you're dragging right now is the SVG file that was just created. You want that. You don't want this back one. That's the JPEG image you just brought in. So highlight that one, hit delete, and now you have the SVG file. Okay, now we're going to resize that to fit on the page that's there. So if you hold down shift while you're resizing it, it'll keep it all, all the same. Now, as far as uh, where it's at on the paper, as long as you have it on the page, it doesn't matter the size of it. So you can just leave it just like that. As long as you have it on the page, you can resize it and uh, put it where you want it in the eCal software. Right now we're just creating the SVG files, so just leave it just like that. So again, if it's not highlighted, make sure it's highlighted by clicking on it, and then we'll go to File, and Save. And this screen will pop up to save it. Make sure it says SVG file on it. If it says something else, like JPEG, you know you, know, you didn't do it right, you deleted the wrong layer, uh, make sure it says SVG. And then we're going to save a desktop, and then I'll just rename this Snowflake. So I remember. And then we'll save that. And there you go. You just created your SVG file. Minimize that. And there it is right there on the desktop. SVG. 
Okay, so we'll open up the eCal software and already have it uh, preset up with our 12 by 12 that we're going to be doing. And now we're going to import the SVG file we just created. So import, and there it is right there. It's already on desktop. So one click it shows it right here. Open, and there it is. Okay, so right now uh, you can see it would be taking up pretty much the whole board. I don't want it to do that. I think I'll just do the uh, upper left-hand corner. So we'll move, resize it again. If you hold down the shift key, it will keep it all uniform as you're resizing. And just like that. Okay, so there it is. We are ready to go. Uh, we need to go load the paper onto uh, onto our cutting board and load that into the machine. So we'll go do that right now. Okay, so we have our mat here. We're going to load. I'm just going to take a uh, scrap piece of vinyl and uh, we'll put that on there. Make sure you get it on there straight. Don't want any wrinkles in it. Okay, so we have that on there and we'll load it into the machine. Make sure it's already turned on. Okay, and go ahead and hit the load button. And there you go. And let's cut it out. Okay, so we have the paper loaded. We'll go ahead and cut this out. So we will go to cutter, cut with the C6C clips. Uh, I already have all this preset up. You set it up to whatever you're cutting. We'll be cutting vinyl out. So we'll just leave it like that and then hit cut and draw and we'll cut it out. So it's done cutting. You can see there, every snowflake cut out. And let's go ahead and get that off there. And there you have it. Snowflake is cut out. So it's pretty neat. Without the uh, without a preloaded cartridge, uh, eCal software in Sizzix allows you to take any image online and uh, cut it out. So you can put that on the wall, Christmas card, or whatever you need it to go. All right. Uh, so I thank you for joining me. This has been John Chapin with Johnny Chaps. Uh, tune in next time. Take care.